Hello friends, this is Ruchita. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am reviewing Kalabal nail polishes. So let's get started. Firstly, I picked out the Tangerine Mojito, which is an orange shade basically. So Kalabal says that their nail liquor is non-yellowing, non-carcinogenic and does not transfer onto the nail bed and they are cruelty free. I tell you guys, these nail paints I have bought a year ago. So basically I am using it since a year. So I have bought that nail paint around one nail paint around 199 rupees. Uh, yes, I am finished with the first coat as you can see. So let's wait. Now I am applying the second coat on it. So let me tell you guys, among all these nail paints, this Tangerine Mojito which is in the shade 95 which is an orange shade. So it took me four coats so I'm finished with the second coat now let's start with the third one guys as you can see it is still translucent so I need to apply the third coat for it as you can see the consistency and thickness they give a thin coating so you have to apply a couple of coats as required so let me add one positive point to it because of its thin consistency it gets dried very faster so if you are a busy person and you have a busy schedule and you have to head on to the party or you have to go to the function anywhere so but you're waiting for the nails to be done so i would suggest you guys to buy these nail pens these nail paints dry very quickly so yes i'm done with the fourth coat and i'll show you how it looks after four coatings So let's head to the second one. So this is the white maze which is in the shade 37. So let me tell you guys as compared to the first paint that was Tangerine Mojito in the shade 95. This white maze which is in the shade 37 have gave me the desired result in just two coats. Yes, are you surprised? Just in two coats. So yes, I'm, I'm done with the first coat. So as you can see, it is not that much translucent as compared to the first one. So let's apply the second coat. So guys, let me tell you about the brushes of that nail paint. So the brushes are quite broad enough and the density is quite good. So if you have small nails, then just one stroke is enough to fill the area. Yes, I'm done with the second coat and it gave me the desired result. So let's move on to the third one. So this is the fruit punch which is in the shade 123 which can be categorized under the shades of pink yes this shade also gave me the desired look in just two coats guys at the end of this video i have shown one nail art technique so please watch this video till end this color is one of my favorite colors and it goes complementary very well with the white dressing I'm applying the second coat and after the second coat it will give me the desired look as I want so you just need two coats for this and yes we are ready so this is the full view So let's get started with the fourth one. This one is Blood Mary which is in the shade 98. This color is probably orangish red color. So this paint gave me the desired results in three coats. 
guys i would like to tell you that these kalabar polishes are best to do water marbling nail art so water marbling is basically a nail art technique which includes dropping nail lacquer into clear water and creating a pattern on water surface due to the thin consistency of these kalabar nail polishes i have tried it personally it spreads easily on the water surface and it's very easy to do water marbling on it so as you can see on the screen this is water marbling effect so this image is not done by me i've just grab it from the google just to show you how the effect of water marbling is so guys now you know what is water marbling effect so i hopefully i will make the video of this water marbling technique as soon as possible for you guys so yes i'm done with it now and we'll see the full view so let's move on with the fifth one which is sangria which is in the shade 142 so it's basically maroonish red in color this paint also requires three coats so it gave me the desired results in three coats i am showing my nail art technique just after this paint getting over i hope you are understanding the things techniques which ever i am telling you and if you are liking it then Please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I put the new videos. If you like this video, then please give up a big thumbs up so it will keep me motivating to do more such videos for you guys. So I want to share one more thing that these Kalabar bottles are. very handy and they look damn lavish recently kalabar has launched their new nail liqueurs which are also damn lavish so i'll be soon reviewing that polishes which i have purchased from the store so yes i'm done with the polish and now we'll see the full view So yes, this nail art technique I will show you. Milers, tissue paper, top coat, and fan brush. So for that, first I'm using this glam nail liquor top coat. You don't have to apply it all over. You just have to apply it wherever you want to put that milers on. Milers. to be placed in a perpendicular direction so i'm applying it in vertical and horizontal directions my lord i'm using let me tell you the brand this is the glam brand which is easily available in the beauty shop or they have their personal store in bandra and it is in the shade a12 so they are pretty good because on whichever color you drop it it takes that color and gives a brilliant shine with the help of dotting tool or you can use a toothpick you just have to grab that milers and just have to place it on the top coat to brush out the excess of it already done on the four of them and now i'll show you the fifth one Now after doing all five of them you have to apply a top coat on it they will get sealed and it 
brings out the natural shine from them. Oh yes, they are ready and now we'll see the full view. So guys, I hope you like this video and if so, please mention the comment below as it was my first video on nail reviews. So please let me know if you like it or not.